Hello everybody, this is Maniac 4 Bricks, and once again we have a Lego haul, but there's more than what meets the eye, so be sure to tune in throughout the whole video. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like, and comment down below what you thought about everything in the video, and also a big thank you to everyone that supports me through Patreon and YouTube membership. Now let's get on to what we have in this particular box. There is another box I already opened up, so unfortunately won't do any big grand reveal of it until after this one has gone through. And they're both from the same person. These are actually both from Mercari, as opposed to eBay or other sites. So Mercari, I visit every so often in order to pick up some things on the cheap. And sometimes it has some really rare things. Mercari, kind of like OfferUp or LetGo, one of those kinds of sites, uh, sometimes brings really rare stuff. And I also have to give a big special shout out once we get to it, to somebody for finding the item that inspired this. All right, there we go. So, this was not the main reason why I went through, but there were a couple interesting things um, from the same seller, and I thought I'd pick these up, and luckily they cut a deal with it while shipping them together. So this is the police squad car from World City, not City, World City. For about a year, in 2005 or so, they had a whole bunch of city-themed, town-themed sets with a little bit of a darker color scheme to them, not really a darker tone, and an interesting build that uh, doesn't really exist anymore. But I am looking forward to building this set again. I, had, I really enjoyed this one when I was a kid. One of my favorite kinds of police squad cars that LEGO has ever put together, even though it's on the basic side. And uh, it's even got some Jack Stone pieces in there. Oh yeah! And then there's actually Jackstone in here. So these I actually do have now with the boxes. I never owned these sets before. And you can see they are sealed only for so long. Because we're actually going to be looking at these and reviewing these really weird small sets from the uh, later year of Jackstone, right before they just called it 4 Plus and just did away with it entirely. I do like this minifigure in teal. But you can already look at these and kind of get an idea of what uh, what's going on. The Ultralight Flyer and the Turbo Chopper. There were actually a few other ones like that. I believe Just Too Good has reviewed one of them where it's like a hang glider. And uh, yeah, similar, similar time period. Similar type of build with each of these. And encouraging that there's some alternate builds. And luckily these were not too expensive to pick up. Now... We go on to the floor because I already have the item down there, and I've already, like I said, opened it up beforehand. But I want to give a special shout out to Mini Superheroes today. He's been a big support of the channel lately. I'm happy that I met him at Brickfair, Virginia, and I really do enjoy his videos. So be sure to check out his channel as well. And he helped me kind of start this whole thing because he just happened to find this item on Mercari that I'm going to show you. And I was like, he didn't even know. This was an item that I've been looking for for a couple of years. And I'm so happy that it's finally arrived. It's in great shape. And we'll take a look at the Lego Island 2 skateboard. Now, I've actually spoken with the seller and looked through the description of everything as far as the condition and where this thing actually came from. So, hashtag Bizarre Lego, if you're, if you're probably right. Um... This was a promotional skateboard that was used to advertise the LEGO Island 2 game back in 2001 when the game came out. It would be sent to various stores and it still has a shrink wrap with it, so it is pretty much brand new. The only condition that's changed about it is the fact that it does not have the original box with it. But you can see like the labeling there. Always wear protective gear, you, including helmet, wrist guard, and knee and elbow pads. But yeah, that is still good. The, the wheels are still in good shape. I haven't really been ridden around or anything. So this is based on Pepperoni, the main character of Lego Island 2. He has a skateboard that you can use at any time throughout the game. It looks exactly like this. And having a real world version of that is astounding. I had known about this for a long time just as a Bricklink listing, but nobody ever selling it on there, or if they did, it was over $300, $400. Luckily, the one I found on Mercari was way less than that. Now, um, what's interesting about this even further is how it was a gift, or how it was a giveaway item, promotional kind of item. Aside from just being a set piece that would be in a store, some sources 
though they need a little more information, um, have said that this was actually a giveaway thing. There was a contest in which you would play through part of the game, try to get a high score, and then the highest score would win this skateboard. So apparently some of them have actually been distributed outside of it being a store promotion. I would imagine that if that was the case, they probably would have had to play the skate park um, minigame that exists in LEGO Island 2 because it makes the most sense, okay? You have a... Uh, <laughs> A mini game where you're doing tricks to gain points, and that's the thing you could generate a high score out of. It fits with the skateboard, you know, actually using it and everything. So I'm really excited about this thing. I am not going to ride this, or if I do, not for long, because I actually would like to keep it in really good condition. And with that, I would actually like to try to look into a skate shop or so, see if I can get a way of customizing another skateboard to replicate this one even if it's down to the trucks and everything. And then I could always keep this one as a display piece, but have another one that I could actually ride around. Yes, for those who are wondering, I'm still learning to skateboard, but I have a good friend who's helping me out with that a little bit along the way. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it with this little 2000s haul. Basically, yeah, almost the same year for everything. But I'm really happy for finding all these really cool things and again really happy to mini superheroes today for discovering it and coincidentally finding out this this is something i've actually wanted for a long time and will definitely use for bizarre lego uh, again a big shout out to everyone on patreon who's been helping support the channel and everyone who's been helping with the youtube membership lately and i'll talk to you all later